Hello, I decided to make a top 5 fountain pen video and this is my top 5 fountain pens currently as of right now and this might change over time. So let's get into it because I've been asked several times oh what's your favorite fan, what's your second favorite fan and why not. So I decided it should just be a regular thing I make every several years to update my top 5 fountain pens that I have in my collection at the time. Let's start with my number 5 Fountain pen, and that is the Miki Yukari Royale in the Vermilion Urushi finish. As you can see, it's a beautiful finish. It's a Urushi fountain pen, and this was my first ever Grail fountain pen. And even though there are other pens that I liked writing that's better than this, I still enjoy its sentimental value, and it's still enjoyable to write with for note taking. And that is re the reason why this is my fifth fountain pen in my top five. There are a bunch of things that can make this pen better, like if it was a little bit more softer. But it is still a great pen. Coming at at number four is the Graphon Ferro Castell Classic in the Pernambuco wood finish. This is my first ever expensive fountain pen that I ever got several years ago and I still write with it occasionally but the reason this is in my top 5 is mainly because for sentimental values as well and also I really like the nib the nib is still enjoyable write with similar to sailor nibs where it has some pencil type feedback the difference is it's kind of like squeaks which is unique to this nib even though I believe Graphon Fabric Castell uses Bach nibs, but it doesn't feel like any other Bach nib that I've used. And it's a very slim pen, it's not for everyone. Even if I have a normal hands, it still feels very slim, but it's comfortable for my personal taste. And that is the reason why it's in my top four. Now, going to my top three is my number three favorite fountain pen in my collection right now is the Pelican M1005. Just the Pelican M1000 series in general, because I have two other M1000s, which are getting some work done. Now, the reason why this is my third favorite fountain pen is because mainly for the, the nib and the cleaning mechanism. The nib is just a joy right with. It's a very soft nib. If you ever tried the M1000 nib, then you know how good the nib is. Some people do not like the smoothness of the nib. Some people like more feedback on the nibs. Personally. I like this nib because not only is it smooth, but there's still some feedback that lets you know that you're writing. And hence why this is in my top three, at number three in my collection. I really enjoyed this. The reason This is the reason why I have two other M1000s. One that's going to have a rod and finish done, which I'll make a video on that as well. At coming at number two is the Pilot Custom Urushi. This is one of my favorite pens. I enjoy the writing with it. The, the it looks like a huge pen. It looks very oversized, but it's an ebonite pen, so it's actually very lightweight. It actually weighs less than the Namiki Kara Royale. So, in terms of comfort, when you hold it, kind of tricks you thinking it's supposed to be heavier than it should be, but it's actually very light. It's very comfortable in my hands. It has a number thirty size pilot fine medium nib, which I really enjoy, and just the reason why someone know. This is my top two. I use this pen a lot, and this is great for note taking. It's great for every kind of use. The only downside is probably the converter, the Con Seventy, but you can clean this converter easily using a syringe. In general, I just love this nib. I just love this pen, and you can't go wrong with it. And coming at number one is my Carandash Lamont, the older version, and this is the one with the fine nib. This looks like a, just a regular classic pen, the Royal Trim and whatnot, but I this is one of my favorite pens that I've had for several years, and to this day, I still love that fine nib. And the fine nib combined with how the pen feels in my hand just makes it a perfect pen for me. It just feels great on my hand, and it is a heavy pen, similar heaviness 
to the Namiki Gabrielle, a little bit lighter, but still a heavy pen in comparison to its size. But it feels super comfortable on my hand. It feels like it balances with my hand perfectly. And the reason, and you can see I have other Le Mans because of the size and the nib. I just love Coronet Le Mans. I have three other Le Mans, two older ones and one newer one. I enjoy them. The reason I like the older ones is because the nib section is lacquer, so it makes writing with it very comfortable and just enjoyable to write with. You might be thinking, where's the writing sample? Why is this video very short? Because I don't want to make it a very long video. I just wanted to just go through what my top five is. And I've made a video on reviewing each of these pens and each of the Le Mans I've showed in a separate video. So you can check that out. I'll link them in the description if you really want to check out the review for each of them to get more details and discuss for in those reviews why I like them. But in general, these are my top five currently at the time. Obviously, it will change over time. Let me know what your top five is in the comments. I said right now, it's my top five fountain pens in my collection. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.